Uh, let's look at the third question in the qualification round. Uh, what's going on? Cameron and Jamie have a kid that's three years old. They need to schedule N activities during each one takes place during an interval. And they need to uh, divide it into non-crossing intervals, okay? And um, you can do things, you know, you can go between activities instantly is what this is saying, basically. Uh, yes, the first two overlap. That's the only problem with this example. And we need to, so effectively, we need to, like, two-color these intervals. How many are there? Uh, I see. Not very many. I think we can basically just greedily do it. What is the output format? I see. Just the color, so to speak, each activity. Uh, greedily do this. Assign, we just if assign who's ever free, and if at some point there's no one free, then you know it doesn't work. We're done. Uh, um, vector utility pairs are instead stud long. long. called C and J. Actually, 
place for the events. Fine. Uh, C J C impossible. C J J J C C. Okay. Uh, so let's give this a shot. In C plus <sighs> plus. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, we just go through the events in order and assign whoever's not busy. Um, we bias towards assigning work to C, but it doesn't really matter. We could assign more work to J as well. Ah, but we got a wrong answer. Hmm. Okay. Did I misspell impossible? It seems like such an easy mistake to make. I'm not sure I've ever like actually had that happen to me. Anyway. Uh, huh. If there are multiple solutions, you may output any of them. Hmm. Sorted. So this is saying neither of them is busy at the start of the day, they can take anything. So if you've already finished your current activity by the time this one starts, then it can be assigned to you. And then you'll be free again at the end of this activity. And same thing for J. And if neither of you are free, then we need to output impossible. Starting at zero. Okay, the end. I think this is fine. But, uh, Safer somehow. Shouldn't matter. So if one of you is busy, the other one has to take it. So is it always does it matter who you assign if they're both free? No, because they're both free, so any later activity you're also both free for. Hmm. Did I miss something?
ordered these, but I need to keep the original index. Fine. Problem was that we were changing the order of the events, but we were still um, we need to take into account the fact that we changed the order when we were assigning them. Right? We were like assigning event zero to we were looking at whichever event happened to go first, but calling it event zero. But we need to keep the original indexes. Okay, so that was the problem. Cool.